bitch better have my money. This is, yes. this is one of those crazy shows. We're going to get back to you, I promise. Thank we got you. Lisa Loeb on the line who wants oh, to say hi real fast. Lisa Loeb. Number one single. Lisa, mm -hmm. you, you watch the show? Sure, sure. Well, I do uh, Best Week Ever on VH1, so there's a lot of stuff that I, you know, take a look at. Right. Mm -hmm. well, Lisa and Loeb. That was one of them. We love hi. Them. Hi, hi, Welcome Lisa. to the Opie and Anthony program. How are y'all doing? We're doing good. Very uh, spirited, high-spirited show today. <laughs> we love her show. You like the it's show? Bonnie, show? Bonnie and I watch her show all the time. We love her show. When she went out with this guy, and he goes, don't slide across the seat of my car or something. <sighs> Sit in, you know. Oh, I, that guy she, was an asshole. Yeah, don't I watch slide. the show every week, too. It's a great Why? show. She showed her Heine, which was just it's gorgeous. A, ooh, this uh, is Rich Boss, Last Comic Standing. Wow. Uh, it's a great show. You really like the show? We, I'm telling you, I, I hate the show. Why? I don't care. Oh, I, like no. it. <laughs> I really don't what? like the show. I do. And What's the problem? Well, explain the show, Rich, to everybody. It's She goes on different dates. She's trying to find the right relationship. One, she's attractive, all right, and she's Jewish, which is great, okay? This is Rich Voss from Last Comic Standing. And uh, she goes on different dates, but most of the guys are just idiots. She went on one date. The guy was nice, but he was too young for her, right? And it also has uh, her friends on, This that one girl that was in... Uh, the movie with uh, De Niro. What's that girl's name? Boy, you are movie? really yeah. selling this show there, Rich. What's that? Ileana Douglas. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's a good show. It's, I, I, I've watched I reality. When I sang her song. Did what you, is it did about? Did you see that when it's you sang about, a song at yeah. karaoke? She, Lisa uh, Loeb's, uh, Loeb moves to New York to find a man and to uh, get another hit single as well, right, Lise? Well, a hit single, that'd be easier than getting a man. No, I'm just kidding. Really? Uh, no, both of them are, are, are long processes. You know, it's it's... Uh, and her mom wants her to get married because she's she getting up to, there. Well, and she's my mom. Getting up there. Because she's a nice Jewish mom. <laughs> well, this Lisa Loeb. Yeah. 37. Just, You're 37? She's, Maybe she's good looking. Now. She went to the rabbi's house for dinner. That, yes, uh, they did go to rabbi's hmm. house for dinner. It's kind of like Sex in the City. It is. Only but the reality, real uh, people, yeah, yeah. it's the real version of Sex in the City. Are right. you, are you uh, having sex with these guys and reporting back? Oh my God! There's all kinds of crazy sex, and there's just—it's a docu pick. No, I, I'm not having. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're going I'm, out on like nice dates and stuff, and yeah, I'm going out on dates and feeling then, them out. Well, she went. Uh, she went on a date with uh, the, this really, really ridiculously rich guy that had a Rolls Royce or something. Yeah, he had a crazy car. It, yeah. A friend of mine wanted to set me up with him, and uh, actually, it was—it was, it was you might know Jay from um, Queer Eye. He's the oh, one. Jay uh, Rodriguez. Patrice knows him. Yeah. yeah. You know, Jay? He, um, he's one who's more in charge of, uh, like, what to do when you're out on a date. Culture is what it is, I think. Uh-huh. And uh, anyway, Jay, Jay hooked me up with that guy. But you're getting dating advice from a gay guy? That's a little weird. You, you no, the gay dudes are always giving chicks advice on dating. Because they can kind of spot what the good guy is supposed to be because they're kind of after the same thing. Well, on this day, too, if you didn't see this, she was having dessert. <laughs> right. She was having dessert, That's and great. she said to tell the guy to tell her to stop at some point. But if you didn't see her say that, and the guy, when she's having dessert, he goes, stop, no eating. So if you didn't see the part before, you're going, this guy's a real ass. Exactly. You know, uh, you should see the girl in the studio. Someone should have told her to stop about a year ago. But here's what I'm saying. Rich. No, I'm just getting That's why I'm involved in this. Like, the, one of the He's parts just a, a one-trick pony with that joke, aren't you? All right, I look, love Lisa Lowe. All right, will you shut up and let her talk? <laughs> no, I was just going to say that that's one of the reasons that I was able to do this show because I'm sort of, I, I mean, I watch reality shows. I think they're really funny and entertaining, but I also know that they change a lot of things when you see the show and, and people are put in positions yeah. and say stuff that they would never say and, and, you know, make them look like idiots. But I just wanted to make sure it looked like what was actually happening. I mean, I also wanted to make sure they weren't shooting my life 24 hours a day. I would never agree to that. No. Where that's, that's crazy. Embarrassing but, things like going to the bathroom and stuff. Well, unless there's an issue you might need to know about, that mm. would be okay. <laughs> you know, when you watch the show, it looks like you're trying way too hard to get a man. Why? Why that should you have to try hard. so hard? You look, I'm going on dates. I'm walking out of my house. But, like, you t you're just looking at it way too seriously, and, and you're too per... I'm 38 hey. next to this weekend. Well, you come across like you're a bit on the desperate side, and you're, you're, oh, and, you and you're a good-looking good good -looking woman, but it's like, oh, my God, I need to find a man. I need to find a man. And, That's the and, and, if, angle, man. and, and if you're going... I think if you're going about it uh, like that, you're never going to find the, the right person. Okay, Nobody I have a question it. for you really quick, and then, we can, and then we can move on. But are you single? Uh, No. You're not single. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm dating someone. You're and I'm, dating And I'm very, very happy. Did you happy. go on a lot of different dates before you found this person? Uh, yeah, like anyone else. 
And did you come across a lot of women who said on the first date, look, I want to have kids and I want to get married? No. Eek. No? Did you, did you no. get that? No. Okay, because I've heard a lot of women who go on dates. I've heard it from guys. And High they school say, girls are not, you know, thinking that way. And they say that stuff. And to me, that sounds desperate. When they get right in there and start getting sort of obnoxious and not even just have a couple conversations. Is that what well, they're doing? Right. Like trying to that's spell out a relationship right away? And <laughs> they want to so rush. compared to that kind of situation, I'm just mm -hmm. doing this in the way that I know that my smart friends do it. You try to meet people. You go on dates. Yeah, a lot you of talk it. to people. You try to be discerning if you realize, you know what? They're not so easy to talk to. Maybe I shouldn't go on some more dates with them. But, yeah, because when but it looks like you you want to get married like tomorrow. Yeah, she's looking to. Well, I do. I want to have kids tomorrow, but I also don't want to get married just to have kids with somebody that I don't even love like. Kids. Love. It's the lottery, and it's also a TV show. It's edited. You don't see like the all the time that passes in between. Yeah. All the things that you see, so it's all you know put together in one and, thing that's chock full of dates and, and situations. You, but and then you go out and you're like you're like too perfect. Oh. You gotta get a little. Terrible. You gotta get a little messy, just a little bit. I'm, I'm not talking about a skank look. I'm, 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 you know, rough. Mess up your hair slightly, or, or. I'm from Dallas. I'm but, from but Dallas. But you, you walk know. out with the latest fashions, and you're just perfect. Those your are makeup's my clothes. perfect, and everything. <laughs> yeah. I What's, the main, the, What's the main thing? But I love you. That's God. very nice. It looks like you, you wouldn't just hang out in like, uh, <clears throat> a, you know, a, a, a bar and just like, you know, throw back shots. Well, I probably I get wouldn't loose. do that anyway. Who's her husband? But, what's her husband? What's what you looking for? Like, yeah, what's the main thing you can deal with and the main thing you I think can't she's live without? For, you're looking for a Jewish guy, right? That's not the main thing I'm looking for. No, what's, what is the main thing you're looking for and what's the main thing that's, that's a no-no? Um, the main thing I'm looking for is um, somebody who's kind and loving. Actually, it's hard to say one thing because I want somebody who's kind and loving, okay. who's ready to get into a serious relationship, who's single. They should be single. That'd be a good. You thing. haven't you haven't met him yet. Um, I've met a lot of those people, but then there I have, there also has to be some kind of chemistry. Right. Hmm. You know. You know. You know. Well, you know, there's no single guys out there, right, Lisa? Where did you hear that? <laughs> Here he goes. It, it He's an expert, yet. by the way. Patrice O'Neill is an expert. I'm sorry. No, I'm He's saying, got his own radio show on I'm relationships. Saying, I'm just saying, Lisa, uh, there are no single guys. When you meet them, there's about ten other women. So you just have to have enough patience to, to weed them out. You have to be competitive with those other nine that I are fl it's hanging around. A game. It's, it's just, you know, you meet people. It's like when you're a kid and... Yeah. You're picking your teams, and you say, oh, I like that person. You put them on your team. Oh, it's really and then you see easy. if it works out. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, 37. I'll tell you Good what. Good luck to you. <laughs> <laughs> if I, if I... What? I, I know. It's like, why look at it in such a negative way? Well, no. because that's the truth I, way. My sister Debbie and I talk about it all the time. They say, oh, there's no single men left, blah, 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 blah. They're on. If I was it, single. Well, then who are, like, the... 20 people who have been emailing me and calling me. The ones that want to sleep with you, Lisa, because I'm looking at you, and I'll email you, too, and lie. Because <laughs> you're hot. And then I will read you and say, no, but maybe maybe that's originally, maybe that's really nice. You'd like to sleep with me. And then maybe we talk. Maybe maybe I'd want to sleep with you, and, and we'd be set. And we actually end up liking talking to each other. Yeah, see? There you go. You, you never got, know. You, you never know. Annie up first. I that's got, what it is. You can't, Annie up. You got to Annie up. I got to bring up an episode that just really pissed me off, Lisa. Please do. All right, so you're dating all these guys in New York, right? And there's a new thing in the dating scene where you do, like, chores together. What, what is it called? Or Oh, yeah, that was you know funny. What? Errand date. It's Errand date. Yeah, so instead yeah. of doing the regular date, uh, you know, maybe dinner and a movie, whatever, this yeah. new thing is happening where if you're dating, you do chores together, basically. Like, yeah. hey, I need containers, and you need containers. <laughs> Yeah, you oh. do. So they went. Things. So she went. Oh. She went on a date to the container store, right, Lisa? The container right, right. store. And this is where I'm like, holy crap! You pissed me off so bad. Why? So it's the end of the the quote errand date, the the chore date at the container store. Uh -huh. Yeah. And she buys containers that were how much? Two hundred. It was so. close to three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. Guess who paid for her containers? No they way. Were on a date. No way. The guy. Yes, because they were on a date. And why do you Guy's think he did that? What do you th why do you think he did that, Lisa? Because he was a lovely guy. He had stocking he containers. Wanted, no, because he wanted to pay for me. He was mad at the last date I paid for him, and he thought that was really. Yeah, but impossible. paying for a date like dinner or something is one thing. Paying for a shopping spree. Why didn't you go yeah. to the shoe store? And do you know what yeah. happened yeah. on the next show? Well, you you gave the money. Huh? Do you know what happened on the next date where I saw him? What? 
I told him that I thought he was a little young, even though I really liked him, yeah. and I gave him three hundred dollars in cash and said that was ridiculous that he had paid for my. Oh, stuff. but I, th I think someone got to him and said, "Look, I, no, I was no. I was talking to my friends because that's the thing. Uh, I don't know. I, I think someone got to you and said, you 'You're you're looking really bad, yeah, man. You better give that money she, back. You had to get that money back because she bought her way no. out of possibly this exactly. guy going. Hey, look, yeah. that's what women do. You buy them a drink, and if they think that you know she's she has to give him his money or buy him a drink too because that's right. like a, a ownership kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So he probably yeah. thought three hundred dollars that was a, that was about how he much thirty seven year old coochies worth. Yeah, give me no, that. No, no, no. Yeah, that's that, that's, that's an interesting mentality. concept. But what my deal was that I'm I'm an independent person. You know, I make a living, and I I'm used to paying for whatever needs to be paid for. You know, yeah, it's not a problem. And my, and I was doing a lot of things on dates. Because as a person who's, and a lot of women will relate to this, people who have jobs, careers, it's not like I'm looking for some guy. I mean, it would be nice to have some guy who could help contribute and be a partner, but I don't, I'm not looking for some guy who's going to be my sugar daddy, and that's that. It, it, it was just weird that you allowed him to... I, tr I was trying to let him do his thing. He was the one who wanted to go on the errand, and I thought, all but right. When he was pulling out the credit card on the show, he yeah. was like, I can't... She's actually going to let me... I know, he was it. doing it real slow. Real you know? slow. Like, <laughs> I don't have this kind of money. I'm not going with this bitch on a date to the car lot. And then he asked me out again, and I was like, yeah. this is ridiculous. This guy, A, he doesn't... He can't afford this. This is crazy. He's a sweet guy. He's got a business that he started. He's in regular job, but he also has another business he's starting. And I don't feel good about this. In, in other yeah. dates, I would be paying half. If it was something really over the top. If it's buying junk for my house, unless he has like some specific gift he was giving me, which would have been really nice and totally unexpected, he shouldn't be buying that stuff. Would I you totally agree with you. Are you kidding me? It, it just looks so bad on TV. Would you go on a date with me? Just I'm married, but just to see if we would have hit it off, you know, see, just... I would do that because I think. By the way, the phones. Everybody wants to go out. No, but I I look at her help. because I'm a Jew, but I'm not your typical Jew. You know what I mean? No, and, I, I don't. What are you talking about? Well, I'm not you know like real yentive, and I'm not cheap, and you know I'm not like I'm kind of like a tougher type guy. But I oh. think we would get along. <laughs> are you kidding? And I think, uh, right? But I'm married, oh. and I don't See, think you're my... married is like one of the number one things that is a yeah, no. Yeah, that's probably a biggie that's... right about now, huh? And your slobber yeah, is a, a close surprise. second. Surprise, <laughs> surprise. Uh, I don't want to date someone married. I don't think married. Lisa Loeb is in the situation now where she can sit back and wait for the guy to leave his wife. And... Well, no, I just to have lunch and see if we would have hit it off. And, and Lisa, you live in just a different world as far as New York goes, because the other show was where you went to, uh, I guess it was a club, and it was a dog date. Oh, yeah, that was funny. What the hell is going on with dates with these thematic dates? Can't people just go out? And I got to no. admit, yeah, this they is... Yeah, can, but, you know, we're making a TV show. And uh, so, I hear No, you. but you this know, is... Oh, uh, oh, she's making a TV show. I, I so understand. Can think one step further. Like, I, I went with Ileana to the dog run. She wanted me to go yeah. to the dog run. Because she said, do you meet people at the dog run? Which you do. We, like, immediately, some guy got my number. I'll help you out here, Lisa. And so I was like, okay, I'll go to the dog thing. Plus, a friend of ours, Yana, makes these hilarious clothes for dogs that match people clothes. And I'm into that kind of weird thematic clothing every once in a while when I'm not wearing all black. So we went to the dog party, and there were some interesting people there, for sure. Yeah, but the, the, the point I'm trying to make, because obviously you're making good TV, I could tell you were like, what is this about? So you went along with it for the show. But what amazes me that is that people are actually doing this, trying to find... You know, somebody yeah. uh, to love. I you have to make it. They're dogs and they're okay, pets. Here's the thing, though. Like, I, I truly believe this, and I hope I'm not offending anybody who I'm about to go on a date with later this week. But it's important to get to the date early. You got to get at. A lot of people stop, have stopped trying, and they don't even leave their house or their apartment, and they think they're in. Maybe they'll meet like the pizza delivery guy. I don't know. We all love pizza, but another good way to meet people is to, the first step is to leave the house. So even if that means leaving to do something that's not 100% yeah. what you think is a cool thing to do, mm. you might meet somebody. Those you know, like are... I went to a J-date party once, oh. and the bartender was really nice. What's that? I didn't go to the J-date party to meet the uh. bartender. But you know what's you know? the worst when you're on a date, like at a nice romantic dinner? What if the bartender and you... was a nice fucking guy? Well, no, exactly. The worst... Then I, all of a sudden I've met somebody that I didn't plan on meeting. I don't plan on meeting somebody who attended the party. Well, you know, I used to be a DJ and, and in bands when I was in high school, and I wasn't at the party because I was the DJ. In the... Would you allow yourself to fall in love with a guy that has uh, a basic career and no money? If he is really hardworking and excited about what he does, 
Yeah. And and has things that he wants to do and if he can about them, possibly yes, make it bigger than that bum is now. He'll, he'll do it. <laughs> no, <laughs> it does some saying, potential like, to an upside. Like better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that truly the first part of their life and they're going to continue yeah. to to grow and to be great at what they're doing? Mm. Then yeah. Lives in mom's basement, yeah. out of the question. Well, the worst is when you're on a date and you're having a nice dinner and there's like a little kid crying behind you. It's just the worst. That that would ruin the show. That's when you a, bring your shotgun. Yeah, I Not hate when kids are out. They, they, should, they shouldn't be out. I'm going to come out with a book about hating other people's a kids. A final uh, observation well, about you this. You have kids? I have two, two daughters. Two daughters, believe it or oh, not. Oh, so you're trying to get away from it. No, I, I, I love my kids, 15 and 13. Hey, uh, a final wow. observation. You got that older friend in the in the show? That's like um, that's like Samantha from Sex and the City. Ileana? No, oh, no. My friend Stephanie? Is, is yeah. she a cougar? Tell her to calm down with the crazy fashions. Uh, she's just got her thing. All, all of a sudden, she has a, like a sundress on with a bow that's like four feet mm -hmm. long. Yeah. What what happened, Rich? I don't know. The wire touched my leg, and I thought it was like a rat or something. Uh, um, <laughs> you should wait, 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 you a you rookie, single? huh? Or gals? Or in, is anybody there single? Like uh, dating single, Jim uh, Norton. Like, be perfect like, like saying Jim Norton, there's, there's not, not a here. woman in your life, like and not claiming a woman. No, but every guy is. There's no single guy. I'm not. Yeah, because every day a guy is trying to get a girl. They're always looking. <laughs> They're always looking. Not me. You should be on the show. Because we could talk about get, getting girls and girls getting guys. You don't get guys. And then guys. at what point do you decide? Okay, you know what? What are you doing I to get guys, me. Lisa? Besides just existing. What is what? What, I what are you thing. doing to get a man? Oh, she's but, going. Guys. She's going on Existing. dates. You, she's no. finding alternative she, methods in which she's to not meet guys. Doing shit, but breathing. She's doing more she's, than breathing. No, she's she's doing be, more than breathing. She's making a decision on who gets to be with her. She she's is doing, doing what she can to find love. Patrice. To get a man. How do you get a man? How? Does, how? how? She stays in shape. Well, she's let her pretty. Lisa talk. No, people are coming to me, and at the same time, I'm ju I'm just getting to develop my life. I'm I'm working on things in my career yeah. still. I'm w I'm working on a new album in the studio. She, me, I me. go to the gym. I maintain. I, I'm maintaining men mentally, me, me, spiritually. Me, me, me. I I'm maintaining until I find the guy who's worthy of me saying, oh, "Okay, Mister, you have." No all right, forget it. Well, 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 no, good luck this, to you, this is what you'll hear Saturday on um, Patrice's uh, uh, love advice show. Yeah, he's got a I'm twisted way of looking at relationships. It's just nice nothing. Man. I'm looking at her. She's 37, right? But this picture is so sexy. But this is a picture that should be of a 20 year old or 19 year old. Like, hey, watch out! I'm pulling these little the little titties are popping out. I'm still <laughs> little. I'm still yeah. I still got it, y'all. But you're 37. You got some skills to to get. And and no offense, I haven't been trashing you. Wait, but I have stop. To what? <laughs> but what's she supposed to bring to the table? Word. What are you? What are you talking about? I'm a, I'm saying to you, Lisa, you are getting of an age where you have to learn. You're sounding like a 20 year old going on dates. You're right? almost so you finished. Saying? Are, but, I'm know, saying you are acting like you are the prize you were back in the day when you wore poodle skirts. Now you're three like years away no from the big retirement age for women, which is 40, <laughs> and you're walking around like you're making decisions. Uh, whatever. No. Enjoy. <laughs> I don't. I don't agree with you. Yeah. All right, let Lisa talk here. I, I, I'm not. Right, hold not on. Hold on. Let her talk. Like, I'm listening to. This is hilarious. No, no, no. Wait. This is actually hilarious. I want to know what you're talking about. You're making comments, but I want to know how that can actually apply to me and what. How can it help me? It can't apply to you unless you want it to apply. It mean in the, fr exactly. the fact. Exactly. You have to give me some context. That's how you're you know, in I, order for I, you to apply. I, I'm going to give you the context. The context is stop going on these dates. No, not context. Content the, con end. the content of it, the content yeah. of it is stop going on these dates with the idea that it's about you. It's you're at an age now. It's about a guy. Right. You have so what to, does that mean exactly? Because that doesn't make any sense. It makes a, a perfect sense. And the fact that you're just denouncing it, saying it doesn't make sense, doesn't mean it doesn't make no, sense, no, no, wait, Lisa. So explain to me. Give me a scenario and say this is how that date could have been more about the guy. Uh, maybe make that decision that instead of, oh, that, like we was talking about if a guy lived in a basement, okay? And right. And how, instead of, this, this is what I'm saying, the difference between a man and a woman in this. When right. a man meets a woman who's a loser, uh -huh. men build that loser up 
until he's that that girl is his woman. Now, if you go out and you meet a loser, see, you're trying to hit the lottery. You're trying to you're trying to meet a winner and go boing, I won. Right. But you're not trying to do anything to kind of create something for yourself. So it you has want to be to change a man. Basically, the most anti most men say that that is absolutely the wrong idea because men hate to be changed. You don't want to meet somebody and change them. That is the most. That is the worst situation. No, Think about it. Uh, wait, Men uh, bitch and moan more about anything than women who try to come in and change them. No, the I, I agree with her, actually, yeah. In, you, you notice people's flaws, and you notice people's upsides, and what's great, and what's strange, and you accept them. Well, here's and you the thing appreciate too. them. And maybe there's a couple of things here and there that you have suggestions for each other. But you want somebody who you can love as they are. A guy does not want you to but come in. But you and just said them. you didn't They're love a guy as he you. is. If a guy she comes in found the and, right he's guy. A, and he's a hardworking plumber, you go, I love this hardworking plumber. As long as this motherfucker don't stay one. <laughs> see, no, that, that, see how terrible that is? You want me to go in there and say, find a guy and make him the right guy. Yes. That's ridiculous. D Why but, would I want to do that? But you're searching for the right guy. That's what my point is. My point right. is men, we get like, okay, no. Opie's. Men Opie's, don't want to be changed. Come on. We, I didn't say change a man. I'm saying that men, when we go get a girl, we don't just say, okay. Like, when you, when you don't like us, like, when women go, do you have kids? And you go, yes. And they go, up, check mark, cross mark, you have kids, it's not for me. But when a guy, a woman comes in with children, a guy's like, you have kids? And she's like, yes, I have two beautiful kids. And you're like, all right, we'll figure out how to work this shit out, you know? I usually right, don't want my... Done I, that too. Excuse me? People say, I, may, I went on a date with a guy, the it took container store guy, for example, and immediately I knew he, this guy's too young for me. But I said, you know what? He's a sweet guy. He seems nice. I like his style. His haircut to me is cute. He has a little business that he's starting with making these really cool T-shirts, and he has a whole other business. I know him through a couple of different friends. I'll go on some more dates with him. Maybe he's okay. He's not the exact guy I had in my mind, but I'll try it out. And I, I give it a chance. But then at a certain point, I realize it's not fair to me to keep dating this guy when it, it doesn't feel right. But that's what I'm saying. That but yeah, you've got to be open-minded. You can't just shut your brain down. I didn't want to date any musicians, and I just ended up kissing a musician and after. And this is what I'm saying, Lisa, to you, is that the frustration, and I don't know if it is frustration because you, you're, you're very career-oriented, but the, frustra the frustration that women have is that you go out and you meet men and then you go I well I wasn't going to date a musician but maybe I'll date one now see men don't have that option in their life where they go I wasn't going to date a girl who worked at McDonald's mm -hmm. but now we have to treat the girl at McDonald's the same way we have to treat the <laughs> girls that have the books and the girls that have they ha we have to approach them with this idea that we have to create happiness for ourselves happiness has to be thrust upon you as a woman you're no, waiting you're totally for prince wrong. charming and happiness you have to but be you're happy not before doing you any get into but you're not doing yeah. anything to create a, a date for yourself or a, or more for yourself it's basically this guy has to come in and be this way right out of, not, out of the yeah. showroom we're willing to put some options in the uh in the vehicle after we buy well that's fine that's great and i i, I assume that no but that's guy, what people do for each other when they love each other you know no it's all impress each other but you're well, what changes these. are you willing to make i'm willing to um, on the religious side, actually, I've, I've developed a lot, and I'm willing to to try to celebrate other person's holidays. Denounce uh, yeah. Judaism? No, I'm still, I'm still <laughs> so Jewish. You're willing I like to raise my kids Jewish, but I was more strict uh, about if it a before. Guy, if a guy said, okay, this weekend I want you to go to the stress factory to see Rich Voss, would you go to a Oh, oh what a cheap <laughs> plug. You that are the really cheesiest son of a bitch. Guy, but I would think about that. <laughs> See, here's what Patrice. She, she no, is, but Patrice. She is fucking sexy. No, but Patrice, what yeah. you're saying is you want to get a girl. So you're saying I'll get a girl that's completely has no self-esteem and build her up. Did I say that? Yeah. Well, you're I didn't saying say that's you're, you're saying what are you saying? You know, Voss, you try to make profound statements in your own <laughs> fucking mind that has nothing to do with what just was said. You got a good you point are a there. Fucking idiot. You got a good point. You just make up what you want to say because you have it in your fucking mind. All right, so shut up. <laughs> All right. Well, let's. Uh, Let's let Lisa Loeb go before she hates uh, us. Lisa, well, good luck. No, thank you. Always, I'm seriously, I'm always interested to hear no, like somebody wrong. else's opinion on how they see it. I'll fix you up. Just call me up or MySpace <laughs> me. I'll fix you up, Lisa.
I'll fix this right yeah, up. Patrice O'Neill from Web Junk 20, uh, matter of fact. There, I, do, I do agree. I think it's so important that you have to be an individual, and you have to have things that you're excited about in your life, and, and you're always trying to be a better person and learn how to enjoy your life. That makes you a better partner for another person you later. Gotta, you just got to stay in the game until love hits you between the eyes. There you that's, go. That's what happens. You can't uh, you can't put a label <laughs> oh, on it. God. Gotta hit you there. <laughs> Till love hits you between the eyes. That's what I'm saying. Let's go. With this How about to but everyone goes out there with between the eyes is a kill yeah. shot. Yeah. Yeah. But, but everyone goes like out that. there and says, well, you know, she has to be this, 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 and this. And then one day you're just walking on the street or something, and then bam, it hits you. Yes. Yes. You don't even know where it came what from. Yeah, out the window. That? No, no guy does that. No guy goes out there like that. That's what I'm saying. Guys go she, out. Here's a date. You're date, saying right? she's going out there like no, that. No, I'm not saying she's going out there. Guys go out and go, all right, I hope I'm going to get some pussy tonight. Right? right? Girls go out and go, all right, I hope I meet somebody I want to give some pussy to tonight. She's, so perfect all, world. she's always, a woman is always not, they're never hunting, so they're That's just hoping. Oh, that, never. I hunted in my day. Oh, I was looking for you. <laughs> oh, please. And then I ate my kill. Oh, you ate your kill. Oh, oh, chocolate sauce. I like Lisa. No, she got Lisa's. Lisa's smart, man. She's a, she got some shit with her, and she double talks too. And this is not this is not offensive, Lisa. She's like a guy because she double talks mm -hmm. very well, where it sounds like. And you go, wait a minute, she is. She didn't say shit. And she that's did what very well against you, no, Patrice, she, right there. No, that's what I'm saying. She did very well. She's very good, but yep. she's like a dude, and that's what that's who she's going to have to meet. She can't meet this dating guy. She has to meet a complete dick for her <laughs> that she's, you know, like, I enamored with. Here. Somebody who, who, is, who can deal with that. Yeah, deal with her. Control. She's a controlling girl. Yeah. You can hear it. She runs shit. She's yeah. pretty. So to a 45-year-old guy... She's like fucking, she's the, the shit. And she can control that, make them buy, you know, the whole f canister thing. Stuff it, totally bizarre to me. But it, I buy all my own stuff. It, right, yeah. But it was control. It but was you, just need, a guy, you, you need a guy, you need a guy that's going to be goals. like, you need a guy that's going to be like, eh, I might call you. Yeah, beat it, Lisa. Yeah. No, I will not do that. Yes, you will. No, I won't. If you I don't find, if you, you're not going to find anymore. happiness until you do it. I recently took someone out of my cell phone. Because I didn't want that anymore. Yeah, because you were scared because he did it for you. Yeah. And you had a little scared. twinge down scared. between the thighs because you ha you met a guy that yeah. had you actually thinking of him. Actually, and you erased his number actually, there was so a, you don't call him There was him an again. episode where the guy was on a cell phone the whole time. You liked him more because I think he wasn't giving you as much he attention. he didn't give a shit about right. you. and then when I st stopped and stopped thought about it for a second. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm not going to deal with this. But that was why at first you uh, were more interested in him, I That's think. your fear of being the woman. That's your fear of nature. of you, of, Because that's your nature, is to be like, look at your man with that big blinky eyes. I love you. <laughs> I love you, booby. And that's how you really want to be. You can't be Miss Tough number one single and at the same time love a guy. It ain't yeah, going to happen. Can. Really? Can. Why is it going on now, Lisa? Um... Because I'm still looking. Yeah, there's, there's a second season that has to be filmed. <laughs> yes, I was just going to say, I, 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 know, I know how this no, you know, And no offense, you know Lisa, I love you. And number one, OBGYN. Oh, we're on the phone. Hmm? What? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. It, it, and no it felt miserable. That, that, yeah. that was, that was, that was, that was, that was hey, exciting, baby. Listen, you are, you are right, exciting. This girl's yeah. good looking. She's intelligent. She's going to be the right person. I'm exciting. telling you, I watch the show and I go, if I was single, I guarantee I would try to go yeah, out with her. But that's no right. fucking big deal for you right, to listen, say that. Let's let Lisa go because we want her to call back someday. Why? Oh, yeah, no, Lisa. Lisa, Lisa, I give you a lot of credit, man. We beat you up and you were you, you hung right in there. She's a trooper. You did all right. I love her. You like oh, black men, Lisa? Huh? Are you racist? That's so early. I just woke up. <laughs> no, you did great. Thank you. All right. Um, Thank you, Lisa. So, we'll so talk to you all soon. It's, this it, picture's delicious. It's on the E! channel. It's uh, number one single with Lisa Loeb. Right. Oh, and I have a new album out. The very best of Lisa Loeb. Oh, cool. <laughs> you got to say that. Really? Yeah. Right, the, the very, very best, best of Lisa <laughs> Lowe. What is the song Stay on There 18 Times? <laughs> oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Oh, man. It's a bunch of remixes. <laughs> it is. Uh, it, what happened is every date on the show reinterpreted the song. and There you go. 
No, it's not. <laughs> it's uh, a bunch of other songs. Some you heard on the radio. Some you have not heard on the radio. Very All right, nice. Lisa. Thanks for being a good sport today. Thanks, you guys. All right, it's Lisa Loeb, everyone. Take care. Bye. Cool. Hey, Lisa was pretty cool. <laughs> she's cool. Yeah, she's a good girl. <laughs> she took your shit, Patrice. She's a good girl. Dishing that misogynistic <laughs> ass out of your mouth. And you know what? And it always bo- you can't beat nature. Hmm. You can't mm-hmm. beat it. I, I, I'm not trying to say, hey, this is my fit. And you cannot beat me. But That's was, why was, people was, are going to listen to your show. You whittle things down to a primal level yeah. that is so primitive and just, you know, here's men, here's women. And if you don't uh, agree with me, go fuck yourself. There's not, there's no nuance. There's no exceptions to rules. You have relationships yeah. figured out like a mathematical problem it is. that is exact. It is, it is uh, done. There's no art to it. There's no... Uh, form. It's bah, 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 bah. it's it's math. That's it's, and that's what I love it's, about you. It's what sharks do. They <laughs> swim, and if there's a baby floating, it eats it. Yeah. You can't go. Oh, that shark. He should be taken for for psychological evaluation. He is what he is. Maybe the shark's looking for something else <laughs> in the foot. No, <laughs> he's, he's looking at. He's, he's looking at. Right. This girl is is like as as sexy as she, as smart and as quick as she is. She, uh, she, she, she does not want mm-hmm. a guy that fucking, you know. You can't love until you love yourself. <laughs> she doesn't need a guy who'll buy her we're, bowls. She needs a guy to go, $300 bowls, bitch. I'm going to put this on your head. Where's the Lisa Loeb greatest hits, by the way? <laughs> I've been in radio for 20 some odd years, man. I, I, can't, I can't find a second. I think Lisa Lou has her. more songs. <laughs> maybe, maybe she, There's 18 she, tracks on this. I, funny, I see she's Stay. She's a funny girl. Maybe yeah. that was a joke. And she burns yeah. Stay in the middle of the greatest hits. <laughs> Is maybe, that the greatest Greatest hits right there. It's uh, the tenth track is. Stay. Oh, maybe it was a joke, right? Because she's a funny chick, so maybe that was no, a joke that she put greatest hits. The very best of Lisa Loeb. Why don't you try to fix her up with Norton? That would be a great day. Yeah, that'd be great. A little bukkake on those glasses. Wonderful. <laughs> the Lilith ain't fair. gonna happen. She was huge on the Lilith fair. Remember the life. Lilith fair? All right, why don't we take a break and uh, end with Adrian uh, Frost <laughs> and you. I hate other people's kids? We'll get back into that in a few minutes.